morning and welcome to morning prayer to Matins. This will be our fourth uh, devotion from St. Paul's first epistle. We will now be in chapter 4. We've been at the beginning of chapter 1 and 2. We've been at the end of chapter 3. And now we're going to be in the middle of chapter 4. Uh, some of you may have been doing so already. Um, but if you haven't, uh, if you have time, we're just doing one section from each chapter in these devotions. It might not hurt to use this week as an opportunity to read through St. John's first epistle as a whole. It's not long and it's well worth the read. So I just encourage you to, again um, to maybe consider doing so. That being said, we will be following as we have been doing in the Wisconsin Synod's new hymnal, the Blue Christian Worship Hymnal. We will be in the order of morning prayer or matins on page 207. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. Hasten to save me, O God. O Lord, come quickly to help me. Jesus Christ is Lord of all. Praise and thanks to God. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is great God and a great King above all gods. The deep places of the earth are in his hand. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Our devotion today then comes from St. Paul's first epistle from the middle of chapter 4. We will beginning there, be beginning there with uh, verse 7. John writes, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God. And whoever loves has been born of God and knows God, because God is love. Uh, excuse me, anyone who does not love does not know God, because God is love. In this the love of God was made manifest among us, that God sent his only Son into the world, so that we might live through him. And this is love. Not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God abides in us, and his love is perfected in us. Beloved, that's what St. John likes to call us, and, and that's what you are. It might seem hard to believe sometimes on, on some days um, when it seems everything is conspiring against you, even you yourself are conspiring against you. And yet, beloved, that is what St. John calls you, and that is what you are. Beloved, and beloved with real love, not with love that someone markets to you to get you to buy a product not with love that someone shows to you and hope that you will will do what it is that they want to to manipulate you but with real love love that has made you born of god so that you are beloved you are now through faith baptized children of god you are loved not just with love but you are loved by love, for God is love. You are beloved in him. And now you get the opportunity to love because you are of love. And yet we always should remember this love comes from God and is in God in Christ. This is a different love than the world shows. This is not quid pro quo. This is not rooted in the other person, what they have done or what might they might do for me. This is not rooted in their lovability. This is a, a different love entirely. This is a selfless love, a love that loves for the sake of loving. That is how you have been loved, beloved. Maybe you've not felt that way. As I said, maybe you've not felt all that beloved today or, or this week or month or year, but you are. 
And that is what those around you are too. For that God who is love also sent his son for them. Before they could repent, before you could repent, before any of us could become lovable, God sent his son, Jesus Christ. And so you are an object of the same love as your neighbor, and you are now a channel of that same love to your neighbor, as is your neighbor to you. Beloved, you are dearly loved. You are loved by love himself. May that love be greater than whatever challenges you face each day, whatever temptations, whatever lies, whatever angry words you may encounter. You are beloved. You are loved by love. And in that love then, may we in turn love one another. Amen. We pray. Dear God, you yourself are love, and you have shown us what love is in your Son, Jesus Christ, who loved us before we ever loved him. Help that love be our anchor in life. Let it animate our words, our thoughts, and our deeds, and let it spill over through us by our vocations into the lives of others. Amen. We continue with the Te Deum on page 210. We praise you, O God, we acclaim you as Lord. All creation worships you, Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, 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 Lord God of heavenly hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your glorious, true, and only Son, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you humbled yourself to be born of a virgin. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You sit at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that you will come to be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Hear my voice when I call, O Lord. Be merciful and answer me. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us safely to this new day. Defend us with your mighty power and grant that this day we neither fall into sin nor run into any kind of danger. And in all we do, direct us to what is right in your sight through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. We pray as Jesus has taught us, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.